in terms of moral wrongness, what was more bad or what is more bad between the modern animal agricultural industry and factory farming or the historical slave trade of human beings? Uh, those are very difficult comparisons to make, I think, uh, because I'm certainly prepared to recognize that uh, Africans taken from their uh, homes and their families and uh, treated as slaves and then even when they got to the new world obviously families uh, were broken up if they had children they might be taken away and enslaved and uh, you know they, they have a, a different awareness of their situation and different possibilities uh, so it, it's it's very hard to compare what they are suffering with what non-human animals suffer mm. um, and as you say the numbers are vastly larger for non-human animals yeah so, that's the thing that i think think makes yeah. a difference because i think i think you can easily say that because of the psychological trauma involved in the slave trade it was it was far worse for the individual but because of the sheer number and the fact that it's likely to continue uh, the, the sheer number there must be if we if we're going to use a principle and kind of look at it mathematically there must be this number of animals suffering that would outweigh a number of human beings suffering and with the sheer scale of the current agricultural industry, if there is such a number, surely we must have passed it by now. I agree that in, in principle there must be a number given, you know, if, if, assume that obviously there's some forms of slavery that still exist. But let's say we're talking of about the, yeah, European, yeah, yeah. the European uh, taking of Africans, yes. the slave trade to the New World and, and all of the terrible things that happened to slaves there. So yeah. that's, that's now finite. It's over. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the number is, but however many tens of millions perhaps, but, um, but certainly small compared to the 74 billion animals that uh, are currently raised yeah, and slaughtered I mean, for tiny. food each year. It's not even close. Uh, not even close, true. But um, I'm not prepared to say uh, whether that number has already passed, uh, you know, whether, whether it's worse. Um, it's possible that it has. I'm, I'm also mm. not going to say it hasn't. Um, but I certainly think that uh, yes, in principle, the amount of suffering that we inflict on animals could mean that our mm. that speciesism, as such, as an as, a, as an attitude and all the practices that flow from it, are actually have actually done more harm, um, cause more suffering, and in that sense, been worse than all of the terrible things that yeah. slavery did as well. 